back with another video. This video, particular video, is going to be on handmade skinning tool. This is a traditionally made tool. Um, the grizzle grizzle skinner can eat its heart out. Um, this is a traditional made tool. Par pardon the um, lawnmower, but uh, it's getting cold out. Let's just put that on. I have to put my jacket on now. It's cold. It's getting like into the 30s here, which is cold for Oregon. But uh, handmade tool made by a guy in Arizona, but he learned it from the native Alaskans. That might give you a hint, maybe. Um, it's not, it's not, you can't buy it on the shelf. You have to have it handmade. It is traditionally made. It's not made with, it's not made, it's not forged. It's made out of saw blade. It's traditional. The uh, handle's off kiltered so you can get a better grip. One side's sharp, the other side's flat. So you can get a good cut without cutting into your pelt. There's all these stuff that go, all this stuff that goes into it for it to work properly on pelts and fish and all that stuff. It is considered a woman's knife, but that's everybody uses it now. It's very popular. Men use it, women use it. The reason it's considered a woman's knife is because traditionally women use it. But there are plenty of men out there that pick them up and skin fish, skin animals, do stuff like that. And the popular one in the trapping market is the Grizzle Skinner. Um, the Grizzle Skinner has a handle welded on and a wood ha wood round handle with the handle welded on and a blade. Um, don't have one. Probably never buy one because I have this. Um, the Grizzle Skinner. Nope, not trying to bash it or anything, but looks like someone just took a welder and went pop, pop, pop on the welder and pop, pop, pop on the welder and put it on there. It looks like it'll fall apart. God forbid it's 50 bucks, you get what you pay for. Mine's considerably more expensive. It's probably three times that or four times that. Um, now, with, now with the market the way it is, it's probably five times that. But um, it is handmade. This guy, Jonathan, learned it from, um, learned how to do it from the natives. He was doing a big documentary on there. He was learning their lifestyle, learning everything about it. Um, great guy. Does commissions here and there. Is not a full scale production guy. It's because somebody doesn't decide because it's his passion. I got lucky enough to get one. Um, it's amazing. It's it's double peened. It's a fish creek style. If that if you if you kind of get what I'm talking about, you don't know yet. It's um this will give you a hint. It's in this. He shipped it in this thing, so I keep it in here in the cardboard slot. There's the handle. It is caribou. It is caribou, caribou antler. And uh, as you see, it's double peened to keep it secure. The uh, groove in it is cut traditionally with friction. And the blade's stuck in there and peened. And uh, the holes are drilled old-fashioned way, so it's all handmade. It's a very cool blade. It is a Ulu. Um, the guy that made it, Instagram handles Ulu Minded, or Ulu It Minded, but he goes by Ulu Minded, U-L-U Minded. His name's Jonathan, he does documentaries, like I've said. But this is the blade. This one, particular one, is for fish. But I'm having one made for muskrat. It is recycled saw blade. This is a 10 inch blade. And if you can see, this side is more pointy, right? Because when I hold it, and this side's not, because when I hold it, this side, when you cut with it, you cut like this. And if this side's pointed, it would dig into my hand. This side's not. So when I go like this, it doesn't dig into my hand. If it was the other way, it would cut into my hand like that, as you can see. So, there's the Ulu. As you see, this is caribou antler. Um, amazing, amazing knife. Amazing tool. One side, if you can see... That side's sharp. As you can see, it's kind of shiny. You see the edge. This side is dull. Because if both sides are sharp, when you go down the pelt, it would cut into the pelt. It would dig into the pelt. With one side being chiseled ground, it slides along the pelt without digging in and cutting a hole in the pelt. Or fish. This is traditionally made. As you can see, it's off-centered. The handle. This side's shallow. This side's deep. It's so when you grab it and you cup it, it cups in your hand and you have something to grab onto. See that? Something to grab onto. And you usually do a rocking motion. People say you chop with it. People say all that stuff. But traditionally, it's a slicing motion. Um, slice back and forth. You slice down the fish. 
you'll lift the fish and cut it. Pelts, you kind of go along like this and push along. Um, it's very sharp. Razor sharp out of the pack when he gets it, when he sends it to you. Um, very well done. Everything's handmade. Um, it is recycled saw blade. The stuff on the market now that is like forged is not traditional. This is 100% true to old fashioned traditional. Women use them in the kitchens, men use them in the kitchen. They use them in the field. They use them for sewing, small ones for sewing, big ones for fish, like this for fish. Medium ones for um, animals. I'm gonna get a small, this one's 10 inch across from there to there. This one's 10 for salmon, steelhead, stuff like that. I'm gonna get one that's probably five inch if I can get him to commission it. He's kind of busy in documentaries for muskrat, for around the face. You know, when you peel the muskrat, you get around the eyes, you gotta cut down Instead of cutting along, I guess you put a hole in it. You got to cut down. I want something that I can easily just go like this and cut in. This one's too big. Muskrat's head's about that big. This blade's that big. Way too big. Correct? So, if you're looking for awesome designs and you have Instagram, follow Ulu Minded. U L U underscore score minded. It is a Jonathan. That's who you're looking for. They're great. Handmade. Nope. This is not wiggling. It's 100% solid. It's sound. Traditionally made. The, uh, it is really, really good. There's really good edge on it. Very sharp. And, uh, if you ever have rust on it, you just kind of take some 1,000 grit wool, or 10,000 grit wool and get it off. Wool and get it off. Steel wool. Um, very good. Very high quality. Highly recommend. The handle's pretty thick on this. Which is good. Like I said, the key to it though, you would not find off kilter handles like that on production ones you can buy in Alaska and stuff like that. They're not off kiltered. Um, they're in the center. They're cheaply made. They're just glued with a rivet in them. These are riveted, double riveted. That's what I asked for. Um, handle. It's great. It's not going to go anywhere. Very high quality. As you can see, I don't know if you see that. Is you see where he? See that? Let's see. See where he, see it's kind of jagged right there where he put the thing in? That's because it was cut out with a bone. It was cut out with bone and like a bone type saw, but not metal. It was like a wood and bone chisel type thing back and forth. Friction cut it. Traditionally. This side's the same way. It is handmade. Handmade stuff is not 100% perfect. That's why you see that, which is fine. There's no wiggle in this. No wiggle. Um, very high quality. One of my favorite things I've gotten in the years. Of course, my parents were like, oh, why are you buying that? That's a waste of money. You know what? Because I want one. And it's cool. And I want to be, I've always seen them on the Alaskan shows. I see them everywhere. And I was like, you know what? I want one. I want it bad. This thing beats the grizz, grizzle getter or whatever you want to call it. Skin and knives out of, out of the park. The grizzle skinner has a handle, big handle like this, big round piece of wood that's not, um, contoured nothing like that is and then it takes the weld and weld and three welds here and three welds there just tacked it it i feel like the hand's gonna fall off i do not want to get one i, I looked at it today and i was like wow this thing is such an improvement over that that you guys should highly check out his channel highly recommend it definitely awesome definitely awesome it's old-fashioned traditionally made recycled saw blade it's carbon steel it's razor sharp. It's not like um, stainless steel. It doesn't get sharp. This is razor, razor sharp. Respect these. That's why I take, I have the um, rubber bands around it. I take it, slide it in. And that's how I store it, just like that. It's a piece of cardboard, fold it over. That's how I store it. If you guys are looking for one, go to Ulu Minded and um, on Instagram. And get one. These are very popular. A lot of people make them. This guy makes the best that I've seen. So I bought one. Have a great day. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like these. Um, or what. Have a great day.